This video is about general logarithms and solving log equations. And we've got the general logarithm here um, surrounded by the green border. So if we're given a to the m equals x, then rearranged m equals log of x to base a. So we see the base there and the base there in the two different forms. Um, the index becomes the answer and we see the same information presented in index form and then in log form and there's some stipulations that a can't be equal to 1 it has to be greater than 0 and x is greater than 0 that's work we've seen in the past so we need from our previous work we need to be able to convert between index form and log form that is still a current requirement from previous work we should recall that logarithms are basically inverse functions or inverses of exponents in process so it's very important to make sure that we can recall that and the laws are derived uh, for logs from the same corresponding law from indices so if we see if we see x times y if that equals a to the m times a to the n if we let x equal a to the m and y equal a to the n xy will be a to the m plus n using index law 1. Taking logs of both sides, which is applying a logarithm, the left side becomes log xy to base a, and the right hand side becomes m plus n. Thus we get that first log law. And the other log laws are derived in a similar way. You could try that yourself. Uh, in our previous work we looked at log laws. These, this list is a list of important log laws you need to know. Ensure that you pause the video to copy these down. Ensure that you know these fluently. I'd like to highlight the change of base rule, which you may not have seen before. It's a handy one um, if you look at how it's formed log of n to base b can be expressed as log of n to base a over log of b to base a so the n's are corresponding and the b's are corresponding what is a well a is some other some other suitable value for the base it doesn't matter what a is as long as it's the same top and bottom so it is a handy rule some examples here, we have log of 4 to base 2 plus log of 16 to base 2, they're the same base. So what can we do? We can write log of 4 to base 2 and we can modify our log of 16 to base 2. Remember 16 is 4 squared and so we have log of 4 squared to base 2 Next, we can put the 2 out the front, the, the power 2 there, it can go out the front, as we've seen in Log Law 3. You can see that we've got um, an algebraic sum here. One lot of log 4 to base 2 and two lots of log four to base two makes three lots of log four to base two. But there's more we can do here. So you might be starting to think, gee, there could have been a quicker way of doing this, and there is, but this way is pretty easy to understand. So I'm replacing the four with two squared, and that process repeats again. And so that's going to be 3 times the 2 goes to the front, the, the power 2, and 3 times 2 log 2. 2 log 2 is 1, and so that's 3 by 2 by 1, which is 6. And this could have also been done um, by using the log law number 1 where we um, bring these together and you end up with log of 
unit vlog of 4 by 16 to base 2 and you still get 6 as your answer so there's often alternate ways so looking at uh, the second one there evaluate uh, this one here now this is going to be a hybrid between showing log laws uh, questions like this are meant to be a hybrid showing log laws and using your calculator I know a TI Inspire will evaluate this but you don't get the chance to show your log laws so this is how you're meant to do such a question you're meant to use the log button which is log to base 10 remember on a traditional calculator the common log it was the only one of only two log buttons but now of course with CAS and TI Inspire calculators you're going to have log to base anything easily but that means log to base 10 all right, so we're going to do it that way. Now, change your base rule will do that. So that will be log of 7 over log of 2. Now, I could, I could write base 10 there. I will, even though it's understood if I didn't write it, you would just hit the log button, and that would be the common log, log of base 10. So if we get our calculator here, and we type that in see what we get and that's approximately 2.81 if we round to two decimal places so there we go